What's going on guys, Master Turkey here, back with another RPCS3 test. This time testing Red Dead Redemption. I know that Red Dead Redemption 2 is releasing this week, so I figured I'd try out Red Dead Redemption, the first one, and see if there's been any improvements in RPCS3 as of yet. This will probably be my second or third test of this game, but we're going to see if there's been any improvements. There's a fortune planted at Rio Lobo. Oh, hello. Good evening there. I don't feel too good. <laughs> You ain't gonna find 30 of horses and these in all of New Orleans. That's what you keep saying. They could flow on the way out of town. No need to kick off a lot of dust. Now back up, Mr. Martin. The sooner we get to the fort, the better. Not much at all. Blackwater ain't much. 
much of a city or of a town with delusions, but no, me neither. A fella told me he was out in Blackwater a few months back and stole one of them newfangled carriages without horses. Is that so? And you wind him up like a clock. Damnedest thing ye ever saw without the aid of liquor, he told me. Times are changing fast. That's for sure. Yeah. Concern yourself with. Never you mind all my questions, Mr. Morrison. I just reckon you might be barking at a knot heading for the fort. We'll see when we get there. Well, I sure as hell ain't sticking around. Fort Mercer ain't no place for an old man like me to be a dawdling around. Yeah. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> Come out here right now! Go away now, John! Don't make me kill you! Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill! You must think I was born yesterday! You always did think I was an idiot! That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed... Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was, oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old times' sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. 
And uh, what will you do now? Now I'm going to take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Well, I'll see you later.